morning sir this is darkness sir welcome you once again in our lecture number 6 of the online lecture series of artificial intelligence and the robotics up till we have seen the number of concept which is related with the artificial intelligence and from the last time we have started with the techniques and the algorithm related with the artificial intelligence also last time we have studied why we are calling the artificial intelligence as a problem solver with example we have discussed and also last time i have shown you how the ai agent with the help of some algorithm or the technique can solve the problem also we have illustrated last time one problem solution with the help of the state space search technique that was problem we have discussed and this uh, provided solution is the eight puzzle problem okay now there are uh, in the state space search only there are the two categories of the searching okay which is being utilized in the artificial intelligence so today we are going to discuss that two kinds of search and again that two kinds of search again that two kinds of search also get divided into the different techniques okay so there are the two types of searches in the artificial intelligence under the state space searching technique i hope all of you have understood the concept of the what is mean by the state space search yes yes sir yes yes sir and now today we are going to discuss about the two type of searches uh, related to the artificial intelligence and which is under the state space search technique okay now in that first search under the state space search technique is the uninformed search and second is the informed search okay first technique is what uninformed search and second technique is uh, second classification is what informed search okay so can anybody tell me what we are under what you are understanding from these names the uninformed search and the informed search are you getting any kind of uh, meaning from that yes anybody what do you think about the uninformed search and the informed search yes from the not meaning of the ah uh, yes not fixed path only different path as that different path in case of what an info okay anybody else so you need from the for a uh, specific domain as to hmm and and uh, ek search search kriya asti sir ek specific uh, path to design kelela asto okay focus on the word the uninformed and the informed so uninformed is not is indicating what there is a lack of the information you are getting the meaning of uninformed yes uninformed in the sense there is a lack of information means without without any kind of specific information searching has to be taken place am i right yes you are getting what i am saying uninformed means what without any kind of specific information the searching has to be takes place who who is going to perform the searching ai agent correct ai agent yes sir so do you understood the meaning of uninformed Yes. Uninformed means what? 
searching has to be performed without without any kind of specific information what the meaning okay we will yes. we'll see the example also an informed search means you have certain kind of information related with the performing the searching yes yes sir got the difference uninformed search means you have to uh, agent has to perform the searching without any kind of specific information and informed search means with some specified information the ai agent has to perform the searching that is nothing but the meaning of uninformed search and the informed search Inform -search. all of you got the meaning yes, then we sir. move forward okay yes sir okay. then let me take you to the example so that the concept will get more clear okay now here first we see uh, first we discuss about the uninformed search and then we'll go to the example of informed search here also i have written here specifically it is the search which is without the information, information. okay we'll first discuss the point and then we'll take the example second point i have mentioned without the information in the sense having very less or no knowledge about the domain domain in the sense that searching area got the point domain in the sense what that searching area clear so these are this is nothing but the main characteristic of the uninformed search he has to perform the search without any kind of specific information or the knowledge okay and if search is being performed without any kind of specific information or the knowledge then definitely the complexity will increase or not will the complexity will increase or not yes sir complexity yes, of searching will definitely increase, increase. maybe yes, in the form of the time also and maybe in the form of the space yes, also sir. correct so i am yes, calling sir. also i am i am attaching here the one more characteristic to this uh, searching technique as it is that's why it is the time consuming mm -hmm. okay you know about the starting state from where to start okay you also know where is the goal state okay but you don't know how to reach that goal state that is nothing but i am calling the lack of information you got the point yes sir you know the from where to start and where your goal is but you don't know how to in that between part how to reach that particular goal or how to reach that particular location okay and for that purpose here here i have taken one example i hope all of you can able to see yes sir this is the this yes, is the sir. example uh, related with the, what you can say uh, the you can also uh, you must be knowing the traveling salesman problem yes sir okay what is the traveling salesman problem uh minimum a uh, shortest path algorithm means the particular salesman has to start from one location he has to sell the uh, item product whatever it may be to the different uh, cities and again he has to come back to its main location main location understood this this has to be happen within a less amount of time only and this is this will become only possible if the right path will be get fall understood so same kind of example we have taken here here you have to consider our ai agent is here yes yes sir yes, our sir. ai yes, agent sir. is here at this location okay manmar. i have given the name to the manmar okay yes, name of the city manmar he has to sell that product within manmar also to the yavla nandgaon vinchur kopargaon and again he has to come back to its home location understood now yes sir now here you have to imagine the one situation here the ai agent okay here ai agent ai agent know that he has to start from this point okay he has to start from this point and then he has to go to the rest of the location but he don't know how to go to a different location and he even can't ask to the 
anybody else also you got the situation yes sir yes, sir. he has to visit these different cities then how, how it will be happen how the searching will carry out by the ai agent if he don't know how to reach this place this place this place yes how he will reach so shortest path check karan to how he will check he has to reach to that location randomly yes or no yes sir he yes, has sir. to he has to go to the different places randomly mm. and then only if he reach to that location then only he can uh, conclude that he has to reach one location again he has to search randomly in that certain area correct yes sir because he can't ask to anybody as i as yes. a, as we are calling it as a uninformed sir that's why he cannot ask to anybody also so yes. that's why i'm saying it has to perform search without any kind of knowledge or uh, with some very less amount of knowledge and how the search will be then carried out he has to do the searching in this particular domain randomly correct or not yes correct sir correct and that's why this searching technique is also called as the blind search also another name for blind. this technique the popular name blind. for this technique is what blind, blind search, search. now i hope all of you got the concept what is mean by yes, the uninformed search in the artificial intelligence okay. yes sir now there is a possibility 100% possibility is there ki he will reach to the goal but time which will be taken will be definitely the huge or it can be more yes or no yes sir yes sir yes. so this is nothing but our uh, first uh, categorization in the state space search technique that is the uninformed search okay as i said under the each of the searching technique we have to discuss some uh, uh, its uh, uh, sub searching technique also like in the uninformed search we have to we have to discuss the techniques like the breadth first search depth first search then the depth limited search iterative deepening depth first search like this kind of techniques we have to study according to our syllabus but the broader concept must be clear first and i hope all of you have got the broader concept yes 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 sir yes, yes sir. shall we shall we move forward yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir and this is our second one that is the informed yes, search here yes, i have written it is the search with some kind of information, information. available uses the knowledge to find steps to the solution understood and as compared with our previous search technique the main difference you can easily find out here this is work on the basis of some knowledge or some specific information about the domain where the uninformed don't have any kind of uh, the specific kind of information i told you the name for the uninfo another name for the uninformed search is what the blind search blind search and here there is a that's uh, in case of the informed search we have also another name that is the heuristic search another name for the informed search is the heuristic search h e h e u r i s t okay heuristic search technique heuristic in the sense let me tell you the meaning of the word heuristic heuristic means providing some guidance what providing some guidance. guidance that is the meaning of heuristic okay now we will conduct the same example here as as i said uh, for example if you apply if you give if you give the task to the ai agent to solve the traveling salesman problem this is our ai agent okay now what will happen in case of the inform search as i said inform search is having some kind of information mm -hmm. available means what in short uh, to clear your concept i we can say this ai agent this ai agent can ask to the anybody 
in that particular domain got the point yes ai agent yes, can do what he asks to anybody, anybody what he can ask he asks to anybody where is the location of yavla yes, and how sir. to go to the yavla yes sir where is the location of yes. nangao and how to go to the nangao like this he can ask about this proper gao location winsur etc etc you got the point yes and that's why yes, this is being called as what the inform search inform. in the artificial intelligence intelligence clear yes sir. Yes, sir. yes sir so definitely he is he is uh, doing the searching by asking somebody that is nothing but we can say the time or the space required for doing the searching will be less yes or no yes sir yes sir so that's why i mention here it's having the less complexity as compared with the an inform search in the form of the time as well as in the form of the space okay so definitely what you are going to get you are going to get the quick solution as compared with the an inform search technique this is on one point another you know about the starting state goal state also you know about how to reach you know in the sense you can proceed by asking to the somebody means what asking to the somebody in the sense you are taking the guidance of somebody yes or no yes sir yes, yes sir. sir and that's why this technique being popularly referred as heuristic search technique okay keep this name in uh, okay uh, remember this name heuristic search technique is another name for the inform search and the blind search is the another name for the an inform search okay. technique okay. so likewise we have seen the types of searching technique we are going to dis uh, discuss about the an inform search like the bfs dfs uh, then the depth first with the limited uh, uh, limited search length etc here also we have to discuss the certain searching techniques like the best first search the a star searching algorithm ao star searching algorithm hill climbing algorithm etc etc all under the heuristic search part okay now on this topic of the uninformed search versus the informed search most of the times the question being asked for the comparison between the uninformed search technique versus the informed search Inform techniques search. okay side by side we have clear the all the differences between the uninformed search technique and informed search technique all of you clear the concept yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. Any doubt about the inform or the versus the inform search? No, sir. No, sir. Shall we move forward? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. And yes, let's sir. today we'll uh, see the first technique under the on inform search technique that is being called as the depth, depth for search, search, which is being in short I have written there the DFS searching DFS. technique. Now you tell me about this technique. you must have studied this here we are just applying it in the artificial intelligence and to the uh, how the ai agent will do the searching according to that technique it's bottom up approach bottom up yes sir yes anybody hmm what do you know about the depth first search roini What is the depth first search? Yes. Anybody else? Final. What is the depth first search? Hmm. Shubham, mm. sir, upon manje uh, best condition find kar do. Have you studied it before or not? 
sir sir it is the algorithm for searching or traversing the tree or the graph data jisme hum alag alag branches ke through the lowest jo hota hai the the child ka the child hota hai deepest one usko find karte hain okay so here the first technique which is being under the uninformed search that is our def first search technique which is being as i told you which is being also referred as the blind search technicals okay also we have discussed the in case of the uninformed search we have the less information or we have just know about the uh, present information we don't know about how to proceed in the subsequent path in order to reach to the your goal state or to the goal node or to the target location okay as we are discussing this part related with the these things will be utilized by whom these things will be utilized by the ai agent we have to apply this algorithm uh, into the ai agent so that he can perform the different kind of searching etc okay so the first technique that we are discussing the depth first search understood now means uh, the meaning of this particular meaning of this particular statement i have written is what ai agent is here okay now ai agent might be having some initially specific information he might be knowing how to reach to the node b or how to reach to the node c okay but he will he will he don't have any kind of information how will reach to the goal state understood that is we are discussing the uninformed that's why it is being referred as what uninformed search he might be having some right. present information from that he might proceed here or here understood yes but he is lacking the information how to reach to the goal state if your goal state is here okay even it might be here also then he don't know how to reach this particular location that's why he has to if there are the more than one children here here also some children he has to search itself uh, with these children also these children also this one this one and at last he might reach to the this node if you consider this as a goal node understood so that is the point already we have discussed random searching has to be performed in case of the uninformed search because of the less amount of information is available with the ai agent okay now in case of the depth first search depth first search utilizes the stack as a data structure to perform such kind of different this kind of different searching operations understood stack is yes, what sir. what is the stack first in last out it is the first in Last first in, first out, or the last out. First, in, last, last in, first. last in, first, first. out. Last ah. in, first out. Last in, first out. First in, last out. Sir, I first. told this. Why, why? Last in, first out. Last in, first out. Last in, first out. Lipo manner, lipo manner. Lipo. All of you make your. Uh, consensus first Please. and then tell me lipo manner yes sir last in first out last in first out last in first out lipo lipo yes sir lipo yes sir yes all of you are agree yes sir yes sir stack and the, what is the queue first in first out lipo manner first in first out first in first out Fourteen first out. So this kind of searching techniques we are going to refer here. As I discuss, the searching gate perform is the randomly. Here we are utilizing the which data structure stack performing the last in, first out kind of this, uh, uh, and with the help of the two important uh, operation like the push and the pop. Okay, push operation and the mm. pop operation. Pop operation. Now here you must uh, uh, keep in mind the certain characteristics related, uh, related with the depth first uh, search. That is the it always utilizes the 
depressed node depressed understood node. and when it reaches depressed. to the depressed node suppose if you consider uh this this is the this is the depressed node and again here is the another node is there if you don't i have written here the goal state but consider this is not the goal state goal state is somewhere else here okay so here and here is the one more children here is also one more children so when the searching will start from this point and then this point this point this node this is nothing but the depressed node yes or no yes, yes sir. sir so from here again depth first search has to backtrack backtrack hmm. yes, okay backtrack. again he has to go back uh, i hope you must be remembering these things yes, so sir, again yes. he has to backtrack <laughs> and again start search understood hmm. so that's why i have written here it the depth first search utilizes the depressed node okay then here i have mentioned some characteristic also that is the solution provided by the depth first search may be incomplete what do you mean by the incomplete i have already we have already discussed that's why the properties of the searching algorithms lack of information hmm lack of information solution that you will get may be incomplete yeah means what what do you mean by the complete hmm complete means what we have discussed the two properties complete and the optimal what is meaning of that yes sonal what do you mean mean by the complete property of the searching algorithm yes anybody what is mean by the complete and what is mean by the optimal mandre sir complete manje aplya tyamadhe at least one solution find hota exactly you must able to get the Any at least one solution hmm. optimal and normal mean time madhe aplya one solution find hota manje time complex if more than one solution are there if more than one solutions are there you must be able to get the best solution out of it. that is that is the concept of optimal way of seeing best okay. solution okay here here we have mentioned the characteristic of the depth first search as it may be a incomplete means what it might happen that you might reach you you might not reach to the solution or you might not reach to the goal state that is the meaning of it may be incomplete understood yes all of you yes sir it may be incomplete in the sense for some input you might not be able to reach to the goal state that is the meaning of it may be incomplete then it may not be optimal what does it mean it might give you the solution but it might not give you the best solution that is the meaning of it may not be optimal correct optimal means what getting the best solution out of whatever the solutions available but the depth first search technique might not give you the optimal solution means it may not give you the best solution in another words it will give you the solution but the cost of that solution might be more than another solutions available got the point yes sir okay so these are the uh, some properties related with the depth first search okay we will come to the complexity uh, after we see the example now let's see the example here related with the depth first search and how actually it proceed okay some more characteristic i have mentioned here related with that it is kind of what the recursive algorithm why it is being referred as the recursive yes 
what is meant by the recursive algorithm what do you mean by the recursive algorithm yes hmm Sir, is, recursive uh, means uh, it's continuous uh, one after another one after another again and again again and again as i said it go to the deepest node and again he has to backtrack if it if he can't able to find the solution correct so it does the backtracking that's why it is being referred as what the it is the recursive recursive algorithm okay so as i we have discussed we start from the starting node and we go to the greatest depth to each path and then if you find the solution then it is okay otherwise again you have we have to backtrack and you have to search for the or you have to move for the next path understood and simple algorithm i have mentioned here for this enter the root node on the stack that is being performed with the help of what push operation correct yes all of you agree yes sir yes sir yes. enter the root node on the stack that is nothing but the perform the push operation then push operation. do this task until push the stack operation. is empty which empty. task do all this task like what remove node that is the pop the node from the stack only uh, pop the node from the stack and check if node your pop is similar to the goal node okay if it is the case then we can stop here correct but if it not if it not is if that is not the case then else what it says then push remaining whatever children are there on the stack understood and accordingly repeat the from the step a until until you will reach to the end or until you find the goal node okay now let's discuss the solution okay according to this algorithm here yes all of you can able to see yes sir yes sir i hope all of you can able to see the screen now this is the example we have given somebody's mic is on please switch off that mic okay here is our ai agent okay and he has to go to the goal node which is present here understood now as i said this comes under the category of the uninform search technique clear yes, he sir. might have some initial information so he might go here or he might go here but he don't know how to reach at these point so what he has to do he has to check all uh, all these kind of random location which is being indicated with the help of the some nodes correct yes sir each time yes, he has sir. to reach to that location and then compare itself whether it is a goal node or not and in this way the depth first search will be proceed okay now here we have taken the example okay here i have shown the stack also you must be able to see according to the our algorithm first thing is what you must put the root node on the stack that we have done correct yes sir now on the stack what is the last in a itself okay what will happen a will check against now here you have to consider our goal need is what h all of you our goal need is what h, h. okay what our algorithm says what our algorithm says enter the root node on the stack okay then do what do the remaining task until the stack is empty remove, remove the node okay next step is what remove the node and when you no. remove the node you have to perform the another task that is what you have to check whether that remove node will not whether that remove node is same that is the 
goal node. Your goal node is what? H. Yes. H. Here we have pushed the H. root on the stack. Now, then next what? You remove the, it from the stack. When you remove it from the stack, you have to check it against your goal node. What you are remove A. What is our goal node? H. Both are similar. No. Correct. No. Then we have to proceed yes, in the similar way. Next also. So as I said, you can go in this direction also, or you can go in this direction also. Correct or not? In case of the depth first okay. search, you you can go in this direction also, or you can go in this direction also. But in next subsequent searching if you choose this direction you must follow this direction also it should not happen like first you go this direction and then you go this direction understood this this has to, this should not happen if you choose this direction or if you choose this direction you must proceed in the same direction only that is the meaning of depth first search correct oh. yes so we'll choose this direction okay we choose this direction now on the stack what is on the top of the stack b on the as i said we go on okay we go on this direction on the top of the stack will be b okay mm. here also i have written on the bottom of the stack because when we go on this direction the c will be there if you don't mention it also no problem you have to just see when you are going from starting node to the next node what is the deepest node we are going to proceed in the in this direction okay now what is the mm -hmm. deepest node in this direction currently b correct b so mm -hmm. here you have pushed the b on the stack correct yes sir. yes now again what you have to do you have to remove that and check it against the goal node correct yes sir. so here you remove the b and you check whether it is same as the h is it same or not no no so again we will move forward yes, correct sir. then in the next way which node you will you will push on the stack d. D. d d so here is our d okay yes again you remove remove the d correct yes, uh, you you will check whether d is equal to whether d is equal to h, h. no h. Whether D and H are same? No. So again, you move forward to the next level, G. which is what G. G. You push the G on the stack. Yes. Sir. Again, you remove G from the stack. Yes, sir. You check whether G is equal to H or not. No. No. no again, correct. No. So again, you will do what now? We are reached to the bottom, deepest level. Correct or not? Yes, sir. We reach to the next level, and so we backtrack. Yes, sir. Backtrack. We backtrack. We come to this point. Here you will find one more children is there related with the B. That is what E. E. And that's why you push E on the now. Yeah, we already push it. No problem. But now your top of the stack is what E. 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 Now you remove E. Correct. When you remove yes, yes. E, you will check E is equal to H or not? No, no, no. Not. Again, that's why you move forward. Again, do you backtrack? Back. Back. You to come C. to this point. C. 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 C is nothing but your top of the stack after you remove E. Correct? Yes. yes. You remove E. You sorry. You remove C. You check whether C is equal to H. No. 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 So again, you go to the next level. That is F. 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 You again check here whether F. F is equal to H. No. No. So that's why again you move forward. You now push F. last node on the stack. H. And then you remove it from F. the stack and you check it against whether it is at goal node. Now, lastly, as I said, here at this position, when you remove the H. From the stack, you will find, as I said, our goal node initially, goal which you were was the H. Now, when you lastly remove the H from the stack, there you see, now H is nothing but the same node that AI agent is trying to reach. Correct or not? Yes, yes sir. sir.
Yes, sir. So lastly, we have got the stack empty also, and we have reached to the goal. Goal. In this way, our depth first search technique works. All of you understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Okay. Every time when you are, uh, as I said, you must choose the one particular direction. You can you, you can choose this also or this also, but you have to carry on with the same until you reach to the deepest node understood every time when you reach to the particular node every time you have to compare that node with the goal node for which you are searching that has to be done by the ai agent and you may stop at the point you will definitely stop at the point where we will find you have reached to the goal node all of you understood Yes, sir. Yes. Now, there is a, there is a some uh, what you can say. There is one disadvantage of this also, and some advantages are also there. Okay. Now, sometimes it may require the less memory. Okay. Why I am saying this? Because consider, we have discussed the example. Our goal node was this, but consider. our goal node was this one correct you are yes. getting situation yes sir instead yes, sir. of this our goal node was this then we, we we might have got the solution at this point only correct or not hmm hmm then uh, will will there be the any need of go for the traversing all this node no If you got the, if your goal node is at this point, hey, sir, great node, apply search. करने ची गरज आए का? No. No. So sometimes it may require the less memory. Okay, that is the one advantage. Then that is also being another words. In another words, I have re, uh, written down less time to reach the goal if the travels in the right path. Right That's path. True. Now disadvantage is there, which is already we have discussed. May not find the optimal solution to the problem. and one big, big disadvantage of this particular technique you may get trapped in searching useless path what does it mean or you may you may go into the infinite loop now when we can go into the infinite loop using this technique is there any possibility yes is there any possibility to reach the infinite loop that is i am also calling as a useless path correct or not yes sir as we are discussing our goal node is this correct now consider here after this node there are still more nodes are there yes after this node still there are the number of nodes there correct now if go on searching these nodes then you might go into the infinite loop that is the meaning of searching in the useless path correct or not yes you are getting what i am saying सर पर आता एक्सप्लेन करा ना एकदा व्हाट आई से आवर आवर गोल नोड इज वेयर हियर करेक्ट यस ओके बट कंसीडर देयर माइट बी द मोर नोड्स बिलो दिस जी नोड्स आल्सो यू आर यू आर गोइंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन वी आर गोइंग दिस डायरेक्शन करेक्ट यस सर हां एज आई सेड यू हैव टू रीच टू द डीपेस्ट नोड एंड देन ओनली यू कैन बैक ट्रैक अकॉर्डिंग टू डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च करेक्ट और नॉट right yes sir. sir yes sir what i said after the g node there are also multiple nodes are there mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. oh. then if you go on searching in this direction when you will reach here where over correct oh, sir. that's why mm -hmm. i am calling you might be aid in searching the useless path right. also oh. because of the properties yes, yes. of depth first search depth first search madhe asa hai ka बी सर्च के लगे सी सर्च कराएगा 
नाही नाही तुम्हाला हे पूर्ण हा पाथ फिनिश करायचा आहे यु हॅव टू फिनिश ऑल दिस होल पाथ अँड देन ओनली यू कॅन रिच टू द सी ऑर एफ ई सी एफ लाईक दिस अँड दॅट्स वाय आय सेड इन केस ऑफ द डेफ फॉर सर्च यू माइट रिच टू द यूजलेस पाथ विच आय एम कॉलिंग यू माइट गो इन टू द इन्फोनाईट लूप लूप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is nothing but some advantages and the disadvantages related with the depth first depth search. First. Also, uh, when you are solving the problem or uh, you are writing the theory concept, also be, definitely you have to write the theory concept. You must have to show the solution of such kind of problems. And also, you have to show the what is the traversing path. Is this our traversing path correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A, yes, sir. B, D G E C hmm. F like this. Understood? Yes. So traversing yes, path sir. also you have to mention. Then come to the point of uh, the complexity. Here the complexity in case of the DFS being represented as the we go of V plus E, where V is nothing but your vertices and E is nothing but the ages, it which is. can be also it written is. in the another simplified form. We go of V raised to D. B okay. raised to D. D. B is what branching factor, and D is what depth. Depth. What do you mean by the branch branching factor? What is mean by the branching factor? Branching factor means what? Ages. Mm, ages number of suppose this this is your root node it is having the two branches so its branching yes. factor is how much two. Two. two if if one more children will be there it will be three, three. three. understood so b raised to b raised to d this number of searches has to be performed if you if you in the sense if ai agent want to reach to the Goal node. D is what depth. What is the depth at this level? This is the zero depth, and this is the depth one. One. If certain next level depth two, like this kind of things. Yes. Yes. Understood. Related with our example, you can find this complexity here. In case of this example, also you can find the complexity like here. Uh, we have the zero depth then. One, two, and our solution at the lab, uh, depth of three. How many branching factor we are having the most of the time? Two. Three. Number of if number of children are two, the branching factor is indicating what? Two. If you consider the branching factor as a two, then two raised to three. Two raised to three. Is nothing but how much two into two into two? Eight. Two into three? Eight. 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 Understood. So within yes, eight number of searches, you might reach to our solutions. So that is nothing but uh, whatever whatever number of in case of the depth first search, whatever number of whatever number of nodes will be there. Based on that, your uh, time complexity or the space complexity is depends more number of That's node has to be get search definitely your space complexity and the time complexity will get increase understood so this is nothing but our uh, various kind of uh, the two categorization of the searching types like the uninformed search and the informed search and informed search. out of that today we have discussed about the informed uh, sorry the one of the type of the uninformed search technique that is what df first yes, all of you understood yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay yes, so sir. next time we will continue with the uh, whatever the next techniques are there in the uh, uninformed search as well as in the uh, informed search informed search technique also okay now <laughs> this is the code for you today tomorrow is too late yesterday is over and now is exactly the right moment to to start something 
which is the fruitful valuable and important for your future okay yes sir yes sir thank you all thank of you thank you sir let me take thank the attendance